the West Coast play. Now you got some teams changing that, especially when you look at Milwaukee and Toronto. They play like West Coast teams, but oh, I love the West Coast style of play, and uh, I love playing fast. It's a lot more fun for everyone. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Jackson and Valanciunas, they're in the middle. Morant and Brooks, Manning, the backcourt. And it's Crowder in at the three slot. And for the Celtics, Hayward at small forward, at Tatum at the four. Walker and Brown, they're Manning, the backcourt. And it's Tice in at the five, home in the paint. Now here's Tatum, coming off a solid outing against the Lakers. Poked away. Shot clock at five, and it goes out of bounds. That one off Hayward. Here's Morant. It softly drops in the floater. Uh, just to make him a little more unstoppable, Morant's developed a deadly tear Walker. Walker the pass to Tice. Back to Walker. Takes the 13-footer. The Grizzlies pull it in. Now Morant. He's coming off a 16-point game against New Orleans. And it was the little things, too. I mean, getting to the line, finding ways to get his points any way possible. Brown outside. Back to Tatum. Fades. Brooks grabs the board. Uh, come on. You, you got to get up on him and play some defense. They won't get away with that next time. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Outside Jackson, six to shoot. And it's Barant, that time on the assist by Jackson. And how about the body control? Morant, even when under duress, stays calm, cool, and collected. Now, here's Tice. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Morant with the steal. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Boston off to a slow start. Still without a basket in the game. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. In that one, they owned the backboards. Most of the second chance opportunities went to them. Yeah, if, if you can be that much better on the glass, you're going to win the game. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. You're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. Now here's Brooks. He's coming off a 31-point game against New Orleans. Yeah, and his energy level in that game was amazing. He did all that work offensively and controlled the Bulls, too. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. So the Celtics called timeout their first. And the emphasis on mobility, a challenge for lumbering seven-footers like Valanciunas. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you're not going to be the quickest when you're seven feet tall, Kevin. I mean, in order to earn his keep, he has to be dominant inside. I mean, he has that capability. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. You look at Memphis. Right now, they've been able to gather the eighth best record in the conference as the latter part of the season approaches. And I think for Memphis, they're one of those teams that hasn't quite figured it out this year. A lot of talent, a lot of heart, but nothing to put them up on that next level. 
Yeah, yeah, they're kind of in that caught in the middle type group. You know what I mean? <laughs> you wonder if they need a personnel change to get over the hump. Hey, they've broken the shield. Three misses to start, and now they're back in business. And no good that time. Now Boston takes it the other way. Right side to Walker. Brown the pass to Tice. Brooks against Brown. There's Walker with the three. And again, Boston with the triple. Oh, such a skilled sniper from deep. I love seeing Walker pull the trigger with confidence. And it's out of bounds. The Grizzlies able to retain possession here. Now at the moment here, let's take a look at our rookie leaderboard and who's putting up the most points per game. John Morant, number one. And there's always firepower in, in every rookie class, but even among the top guns, he's the best of the best. He'll be an offensive force for years to come. Brown with it. He's picked up by Brooks. And oh, here we go. Brooks, nobody back. The big dunk at the end of the break. With agile hands and precise timing. Brooks gets the fast break started with a quality defensive effort. Walker dishes to Hayward. Brown kicks to Hayward. Tipped away. Crowder with the steal. A finish. And Crowder slams it in. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. Now, here's Brown. Talking about that win against the Lakers. He was a big factor in that game as well. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That is his first foul of the game. And so it's Boston with it. Six-point game. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. Now here's Morant. Six points for him. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. That's a high-level finish for Morant. Showing more strength than he's really giving credit for. And this kid, Ja Morant came out of nowhere under recruited in high school showed some promise in that first year college the boy did